What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Leo coming to you guys with yet another video. So we got a little bit of breaking news that's been, you know, the talk of the wrestling world over the last few hours um, up until this point now of me recording this video. And apparently Nick Carr in a recent interview uh, over the last few days talked about the idea and possibility of SmackDown going to three hours. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think that would be the best. It, it, it. There's pros and cons to the situation, but for me as a wrestling fan, two hours is good enough. Three hours just seems like a drag in a sense. Um, it. I feel like it, with the two hour show, it's more digestible as a wrestling fan. Um, because you know we have NXT and AEW. And everything like that those are two hours so it's digestible and i feel like with when it comes to smacking being two hours it's digestible as a wrestling fan it doesn't feel like a drag and i feel like they when they do that it when they do a two-hour show it's pretty much quick and to the point they're not you know adding things that, that really shouldn't be on the show to begin with or and, and i feel like raw it's just filler it's filler in my opinion if you having a three-hour show the two the first two hours you know they're serviceable but that third hour just feels like a filler uh, for, for sponsorships and all that now if the third hour was more you know edgier or you know they made the third hour have some type of importance to it then I wouldn't be too upset of the idea of the possibility of a you know three-hour show but when they, I've been seeing what they've been doing raw for the last few years, and every pretty much ever since they started doing um, three hour show on Monday Night Raw, I believe in like 2012. Comment down below if I'm wrong, uh, but I believe 2012 was when they started doing Monday Night Raw f uh, with three hours. It was okay for, for when it first started. I mean, I wasn't really too keen on the idea. I was still young, so I really didn't know. But as getting older and just seeing how it is now compared to when I was like 12 when they did it, um, it just doesn't really, it's not the best idea. I can see why WWE will probably want to do that because, you know, it can, you know, kind of hurt AEW in a sense to where um, it's cutting into, you know, Rampage because really people don't really ramp, watch Rampage like that. I mean, for me personally, I don't really watch Rampage. There might be every now and then I'll probably watch an episode or a clip here and there, but I don't really watch Rampage like that because it's really pretty much right after SmackDown. So I think if they were to do a three-hour SmackDown, if that is the plan that they're going with, I don't really know um, how it's gonna what it's gonna be like. But if it's a indication, if it's gonna be anything like Raw, I'm not really looking forward to it. But um, like I said, if it, when it comes to AEW, them having a three-hour show, it's going to hurt um, Rampage, and I don't know what they're going to do with that. Me, personally, I feel like with them bringing AEW Collision, they should have got rid of Rampage, because then it's at that point, it's like, no. And I literally was on stream last night, and we were talking about it, and I was like, if because for me, personally, when I watch wrestling, right, I'm watching Raw, I'm watching NXT, I'm watching SmackDown, I'm watching Dynamite, I'm gonna be, I'm watching um, Impact here and there, and I'm watching Ring of Honor. That's a lot of hours of wrestling for one wrestling fan. And now, and think about it, when they have their pay-per-views on that weekend, like, there's a time we score a video, like, there's so many, much wrestling going on as it is right now with um, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, um, AEW, and then Collision, coming in a few weeks and we have Ring of Honor and Impact and, and not only just that but they're having like pay-per-views this weekend um, we have Under Siege on Friday um, then on Saturday we have um, Night of Champions and Sunday we have Double or Nothing and then right back at it with Monday Night Raw Smackdown and NXT and all that and not only this is not the only thing I've been hearing about um, Smackdown uh, over the last few days not only is it seem like they're trying to go three hours but it looks like when their contract is up with fox or whatever they're looking to switch nights and me personally on um, their the main 
speculation is them going back to Thursdays. Um, I mean, it could work, but I just, I feel like as a wrestling fan and nostalgic reasons, I just, you know, grew up as a wrestling fan with SmackDown being on Friday nights and Monday being on um, Monday nights. So it's always been one of those, you know, things for me and that I always look back on as like a wrestling fan that it was always just so cool to see this Monday coming in from school and, you know, watching Monday Night Raw and on SmackDown, knowing that the weekend is finally here and kicking it off with um, SmackDown on that Friday and then having that weekend. So it was always been one of those type of moments for me. But, you know, I just don't really know if that's... Hopefully they don't really do this, but, I mean, if they do it, it is what it is at the end of the day. I mean, I'm still going to watch SmackDown at the end of the day. Um, I just don't really know how it would look. I mean, if it's any, like I said, if it's any indication to go off of with how Monday Night Raw is, it's going to feel like a filler in a, in a sense because, like, they're going to, the first two hours are going to probably be good. And then the third hour is going to feel like a drag. But then, I mean, maybe that's just me. Maybe, maybe it's just me um, and everything like that. But I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you think SmackDown should go three hour go to three hours? Um, let me know. I really want to know how, what you guys think about SmackDown potentially going three hours. Do you think it should go three hours? Um, how would you if they do go three hours? How do you how do you think they should make the three hours of SmackDown good? Um, what do you think needs to happen if they want to make SmackDown still good as it is right now as a three hour show? Or do you believe, like me, do you think SmackDown should be, remain a two-hour show? And you're on, on the same you know, side as me where I think SmackDown is just way more digestible as a two-hour show compared to a three-hour Raw. So, yeah. Um, also, if you guys are new to the channel, um, please, please subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're on the road to 500. We're at 498 right now. We're 498. We're two subscribers away from 500. So, I know... We can get two subscribers by Night of Champions. But um, also hit that notification bell so every time I post a new video, whether it's a reaction or a video, live stream, or just a ran random um, wrestling dialogue video, or even a horror video, or any type of video for that for that matter, you can always be one of the very first to know when my video drops and be the first to engage and everything like that. But I appreciate you guys kicking with me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.